Welcome to the Clever Dad channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new product to me from Illumilite, Performance ADD. Now, this stuff has been around for a while, but this is the first time that I've been able to use it. I have some pros and some cons, so make sure you watch this video all the way through. It is so hard that it, I believe it's going to get to that point where it starts to get brittle. So I think that this is right on the cusp of where the hardness rating is that you want to go. I don't think you want to get any harder than this stuff. It also really adheres to the mold. So I actually, let's see, this one right here, this mold right here, I actually broke. This is uh, for the bolt hole, the bolt, bolt head. And there was one time that I forgot to put the mold release in there and pulling this out, that thing popped out. Now in the past when I was younger and I wanted to do this for a living and making climbing holds, I designed my molds like this because this is something that, that fails. That's the first thing that's going to fail in your mold. And with this mold here, this is actually from probably 2000, the year 2000 most likely. And it's still a good working mold. Um, and I designed it so you have this dowel system that goes in there. It's a two-part dowel system. You have this for your bolt head and then you have this obviously for your bolt hole. And that works quite well. But I stopped doing that out of simplicity and now I'm, I'm breaking my molds. Another thing that I've found with this is that it is a lot more thick than your amazing white or your RC3. And uh, it just did, it got a little too thick and didn't fold into the mold properly. So that was an issue there. It also captures a lot more bubbles. Look at all of those bubbles in there. It would be a good idea to degas it or be in a hot climate where it's a little bit more liquid. That thixotropic effect will take place. This is my climber C hold. It takes up quite a bit of resin. It's a nice big jug hold, but the, the real design for it is that it's the logo for our gym. It's a smaller version of the big uh, hold that I still have not made the mold of. Um, but this it's a pretty nice hold. And I wanted to make sure I got all the bubbles out of that. So I looked online to see what other people are doing to try to pour this resin, not specifically this resin, but any resin with less bubbles. And I saw a guy that warmed up the resin by putting the cups in hot water. Now urethane does not like moisture at all. But I didn't think that putting the cup in some hot water to warm up that would that would have an effect on it but it did take a look at this this is the first pour and you if you look at the back of it here you can see that there's very few bubbles in it so as far as that goes it worked really well but you turn it over to the other side and this just foamed up on the surface and the reason that this foamed up on the surface is because there was too much humidity in the air and this mold was sitting right next to that bucket of hot water. So some of that humidity got into the mold and it created this foaming effect. So if you're pouring with any urethane, you've, you need to do it on a nice dry day. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of dry days here in Tennessee as compared to other places where I used to live. And I never had to worry about that before. So if you're not in a climate controlled area, you got to wait for a good day like today. Today is a good sunny day. So I'm going to do one last pour with this stuff. It is going to be in this. It is a brand new hole that I'm adding to the deception line. And I'm thinking I need to rename the deception line. It is a holds that are super good for training on because of their symmetrical shape. Uh, it's just 
it's great for if you have a, a board, a hang board that you're making out of holds. These holds are the best for that. So without more jibber jabber, let's pour this and see how it works. Mix ratio, one to one by volume. Side B is heavier than side A. Found that out the hard way. The best way that I like to do it when it's by volume is I will get these cheap clear plastic cups. So let me get on my gloves and my mask. Nice sunny day. This hold, it poured and still foamed on the surface. You can see you can scratch that with your fingernail. So I am not exactly sure what's happening with this. I think it's the moisture content, but there's other days that I had where I've I had good successful pours with this. So I'm not too sure. Some of the things that I like about this is how hard it is. This is going to wear pretty well, I believe. And the cost is, at a, it's a really good cost as far as your polyurethane resins go. And one of the things that is not necessarily a pro or a con, but something to be aware of, is that this resin is a translucent resin. So in order for you to match these holds behind me that are normal or standard in climbing gyms, it's gonna be a lot harder to get that color right. This is a yellow that I tried to pour and you can tell it, it kind of came out looking somewhat like Mountain Dew. And you can definitely tell that it's a translucent resin that that is sitting in. I have successfully poured about 24 holds out of that two gallon kit, but I have also successfully wasted, oh, gosh, probably over a third of the gallon. Everything foamed up. So maybe there's some moisture that got into the gallon kit, I'm not sure, but this stuff has been really difficult to use. So some of the cons about it, is it seems more temperamental than any other product that I've used. I've never had it foam up like this before. So you need to use a release agent in your molds or your molds are gonna wear out fa fast. So this stuff I cannot recommend. It is not Climber Dad approved. This is the last time that I'll be using this. Now there is some pros to it, and if those pros outweigh the cons, go for it. If you do try this stuff out and you're in a super dry climate or you've tried it out regardless of the climate that you're in and you have not had this foaming effect, please comment down below. I'd love to see that. I'm sure everybody else would love to see that too in some of the ways that you have created that it doesn't do that. Now, before I go, I wanna talk about this shirt. I wanna be designing some shirts for sale online at climberdad.com. It's a little site that I've got going on to help support the channel. If you like this t-shirt, go over there, see if it's still available. Uh, there will be limited quantities, so when it's up, it's there and available, and then hopefully the next shirt will be coming out after that. So this is one that I've designed myself. It's a T-Rex jumping for a dinosaur. Thanks for watching the Climber Dad channel. I'll see you next time right here on Climber Dad. Never had that happen before.